Hi, it's Alicia. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing the second DIY for my sit and chat area, which is going to, as I mentioned in my last video, if you didn't watch that, I'll link it up here, um, which is going to be doing over this sewing machine cover. I'm just going to be putting a vinyl decal on the front. So without any further ado, let's get into the DIY. Okay, so made up a bit of a design to go on our sewing machine cover. So I'm just going to finish weeding it out and then we'll pop it on. Okay, so we're just going to peel it back really slowly. I find doing it this way is a lot easier. But we are dealing with little leaves. And little letters. So slow and steady and keeping the backing paper cl close. Helps it adhere a little bit better. And try not to stick your fingers. Also, the vinyl that I'm, <clears throat> excuse me, the vinyl that I'm working with is a little bit old, so, and I think my blade might have cut it a little bit too deep. As I said, there's many other ways you could decorate my lucky I have a cricket so decided to go with some vinyl oh no what are you stuck on me hmm that's all right Pop that back. Might not be in the exact position, but Let's see if I can possibly fix that up. <laughs> As you can see, not everything goes according to plan. <laughs> Yeah, see that one cut a little bit too deep. It's that's where that was sticking. Hmm. 
think you just go slow. Just be patient. So that's all the small letters. So now I just have to do letters up the top, which I, I was going to say are a bit bigger and should cooperate, but I don't want to make a liar out of me. It's definitely cut. Bring you back in. There we go. Now, if you're interested, my transfer tape that I'm using is actually just contact from Kmart. Because it's not going to be on there for very long, you can get away with it before it leaves any residue. Of course, if I'm doing it for a customer, I use transfer tape. It doesn't leave a residue, but as this is for me, the other reason why I'm using older vinyl, I like to try and use it up instead of wasting it. So now we just turn it over. I find if we fold it in half, I'm just going to, I'm just going to change my position because a little bit easier. drop it on and double check yeah, we're close enough as I said it's just for me so it doesn't have to be perfect work from the middle out you'll find it easier get yourself less bubbles Now let's see if these letters want to play the game. Oh, contact stuck well to this today.
And I do this the same as I do when you're peeling the backing. Keep the angle low and go slow. If you go too fast and something starts to lift, you won't be able to fix it as easily. Another thing about vinyl, when you make vinyl, you end up with vinyl pieces everywhere. As you can see I've even got one under my fingernail, which I'll have to get out. This was expensive transfer tape. Possibly try and save it, but as I said, it's just contact, so I think it can, it's done its job today. So DIY number two done. Really happy with how it turned out. So I hope you enjoyed today's video as much as I did. I thoroughly enjoy working with vinyl. It um, is a great way to personalize anything or give everything a little bit of spice um, and I really like the way this corner has turned out so I'll um, show you that in as we close out the video but um, thanks and I hope to see you in the next one bye So, yeah, without any further ado, further ado, without any further ado, let's get into the DIYs. <laughs>